The home represents a sanctuary where one finds rest, support, life and shares life with beloved ones. Thus, it's crucial to ensure that your home remains untouched by any demonic or witchcraft influence. These influences can lead to conflict, discord and a lack of harmony in the home, contradicting the Lord's intentions for a household. When it feels like your home is affected by these negative forces, you take authority in the name of Jesus and pray this prayer to purify and protect your home from such influences. In the name of Jesus, omnipotent and everlasting God, in humble acknowledgement of your sovereignty and divine protection, I turn to you. For your name is a fortified tower. As proclaimed in Proverbs 18 verse 10, I seek refuge in your mighty name, knowing that those who run to you are safeguarded and find peace. I lift my home before your throne of grace, seeking your divine intervention and protection against all forces of darkness, including demonic and witchcraft spirits. May your holy name serve as an impenetrable fortress around this dwelling, shielding it from any form of spiritual attack, malevolent energies or sinister influences. And in the name of Jesus, I beseech you to envelope this place with your divine presence, saturating every nook and cranny with your purifying light. Let your power nullify any negative energies or entities that may seek to infiltrate and cause harm within these walls. Grant strength to the residents of this home, empowering them to stand firm in their faith and resist any form of malevolence that may attempt to intrude upon our lives. Lord, I declare that peace and solace is found and security in the refuge of your name trusting in your unwavering protection as I dedicate my home to you making it a haven of your grace and mercy and in accordance to your word in Exodus I come before you seeking protection and deliverance from any force that may seek to harm or disturb this home just as you promised to make enemies turn their backs and flight I humbly ask and it's done in the power that's in the name of Jesus that you intervene as they are repelled and banished and every demonic presence evil intentions of witchcraft directed towards my dwelling today does not have effect in the name of Jesus thank you Lord because you're granting us grace to stand firm in your protection shielding us from all forms of darkness and negativity thank you Lord as you sent the honors ahead to drive away adversaries I pray that this happens to us for your divine intervention to drive away any spiritual adversary seeking to harm or disrupt the peace of our household. May your light shine brightly within these walls, dispelling any shadows and casting out any lingering malevolent energy. Let your presence be felt in every corner, sanctifying the space and rendering it in purpose to any nefarious influences. I ask for your divine hedge of protection around this home, its inhabitants and all who enter it. Strengthen our faith, Lord, and fortify our spirits and empower us by the name of Jesus to live in assurance of your guardianship. Eternal and mighty God, in reverence and in faith in the name of Jesus, I come before your presence declaring you as my refuge and stronghold. As in Psalm 91, I seek your divine protection and shelter for my home, its inhabitants and all who enter it or will enter it. You have promised that those who make you their dwelling place will be shielded from harm and kept safe from all calamity. I proclaim your sovereignty over this dwelling, inviting your divine presence to fill every room, corridor and corner. May the darkness be eradicated by your pure light as I carry this light and the pseudo negative energy and influences are automatically eliminated by this light in your name, Jesus Christ. 
By your unfailing grace, I fortify the walls of this home with your divine protection, creating an impenetrable barrier against any demonic presence or witchcraft that may seek to infiltrate or cause harm. Let your angels stay guard, ensuring peace, safety, and tranquility within these sacred walls, providing us, dear Father, the ability and awareness to send spiritual attacks and defend off empowering us with your strength to overcome any adversity that may come our way. May your divine shall be our safeguard, deflecting any evil schemes or intentions directed to us as that is negative. I consecrate this space to you, Lord Almighty, dedicating it as a sanctuary of your presence and peace. Let your presence abide here, filling every room with your love and protection and grace. Heavenly Father, in reverence and gratitude for the authority bestowed unto us by your Son, Jesus Christ, as stated in Luke 10, 19, I humbly approach your presence seeking protection and deliverance from any demonic influence of malevolent forces that may seek to infiltrate and cause harm within my home. And with faith in the authority given by Jesus Christ, I declare and exercise the power to trample upon any spiritual forces of darkness, including demons and witchcraft that may attempt to trespass or exact their negative influence within these walls. I stand firm in the assurance that through Christ no harm shall prevail us. I invoke the name of Jesus, the ultimate authority, and ask for divine intervention to purify and sanctify this place. Let your holy presence saturate every corner, banishing any entity or energy that seeks to disrupt the peace and well-being of this household. Offer us, dear Father, an unshakable faith so they can spot and resist off spiritual attacks. May they walk confidently in the authority you have granted us and so because the word has said this is the victory that we have even our faith we trust in your promise that nothing shall harm us i consecrate this dwelling unto your hand lord dedicating it as a sanctuary of your presence and protection sovereign father i acknowledge the truth proclaimed in john 1 verse 5 that your light shines brilliantly in the midst of darkness and darkness cannot overpower it and in the assurance of this truth, I seek your divine light to cleanse and safeguard my home against any demonic presence. I invoke the power of your divine light to eliminate every space within these walls, dispelling all shadows and banishing any lingering darkness that seeks to intrude. May your radiant light flood this household, eradicating any spiritual influences of darkness, including witchcraft. I pray for your divine protection to encircle our home, making it a sanctuary where your light reigns supreme, rendering it impenetrable to any negative energies or evil forces. Let your presence be a felt one, even in this room and every corridor and corner, bringing peace, purity and divine protection. Lord, I ask that I find solace and security in the brilliance of your light because your light is my light, knowing the darkness holds no power even in your presence. Ever faithful Father, I seek your protection and strength in the face of spiritual adversity. I stand within the walls of my home and I invoke your divine presence to cleanse the space of all darkness, negativity and malevolent energies. I acknowledge the truth of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 that our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Grant me the wisdom to recognize these forces and the courage to resist them in your name. I ask for your mighty armor to surround and shield me as I use them over me and my loved ones and even my entire household. May your truth be my belt, righteousness, let them be our breastplate. May your readiness be the one for us to share the gospel. Oh, may we continuously wear the shoes that will carry us to share the gospel of your truth. Faith as our shield as we hold it and our salvation being the helmet as your word remains our sword in our hand. I declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper as I rebuke every scheme, curse or manifestation of darkness seeking to infiltrate this dwelling 
and by the authority given to me through Jesus Christ, I command all evil spirits, demonic entities and malevolent influences to leave this place immediately and never return. Gracious Father, the word in 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 reassures me that greater are you who is within me than any spirit in the world and I claim this truth as I invite your presence to become real as it permeates every nook and cranny of my household. I ask for the strength to discern and resist any influence seeking to harm, oppress or to disturb the peace within these walls. I declare that this home is a haven of your light and goodness. I reject and rebuke every form of witchcraft, every demonic presence and every negative energy that may attempt to take root here. This is the household of Jesus and it has been dedicated to it and by the authority vested to me, I command all forces depart from this place immediately and be barred from returning. In your home stands as a sanctuary, a place of refuge where amidst life's trials, you discover serenity. If the enemy has sought to rob this peace, dismantling it piece by piece, I invite you to join in this prayer. You need not wait for the devil to disrupt your peace. As a believer, you confront your battles right at the outset. Let's unite in prayer pleading the blood of Jesus over your home, for his blood speaks far greater things than even Abel's blood. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, in reverence and humility, I come before you, dear Lord, acknowledging your sovereignty and boundless love. As in the days of old when the blood of the Lamb protected the Israelites, I plead the blood of Jesus over my home. Just as you instructed in Exodus 12, 13, when you see the blood, you pass over and no destructive force touches those sheltered beneath it. May the blood of Jesus be a shield guiding my home from harm, evil and any form of adversity. I claim the authority granted through Christ's sacrifice as a covering over every entrance every room and every heart dwelling within these walls. Let the blood of Jesus be a barrier against any plan or scheme of the enemy. I pray for faith to trust in the efficacy of Christ's blood shed for me and it serves as a constant reminder of redemption, protection and deliverance. Thank you for the promise of your divine protection, Lord, and may this home be a sanctuary where your presence abides where the blood of Jesus is our constant shield and where peace, love and harmony flourish. Dear Lord Jesus, I am grateful for the power and victory found in your precious blood. Your word in Revelation 12, 11 declares that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb on the word of our testimony. Today I plead the blood of Jesus over my home, invoking the overcoming power inherent in his sacrifice. The blood of Jesus is a shield of fortress and a barrier against all forces of darkness that seek to infiltrate this home. I stand firm on the assurance that through his blood, I am victorious over every scheme and attack of the enemy. I declare and affirm that this home is consecrated and protected by the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus. Let his blood cover every doorpost, every room and every member of this household, guarding us against harm, evil and spiritual oppression. As Revelation 12, 11 affirms, I also testify to the greatness of your mercy, grace and protection in my life. And in this place, I ask that you strengthen my faith, Lord, and empower me to live boldly in the victory secured by Jesus' blood. May the love that caused you to shed your blood for my home bring peace, joy and divine protection. In accordance with Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11, which assures us that no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. I come before you seeking the covering of your divine protection. I plead the blood of Jesus over every inch of this home, symbolizing your ultimate shield against all forms of evil, harm and negativity. 
Just as you promised to provide a sanctuary in times of trouble, I trust in your unfailing protection over this household. May the blood of Jesus act as a barrier preventing any evil influence or destructive force from entering this place. Let your angels encamp around this dwelling, guarding it against every threat or scheme of the enemy. As mentioned in Psalm 34 verse 7, give us the confidence to rest in your shelter, knowing that your blood has redeemed us and secured our safety. I cling to your promise of protection and claim it over our home, declaring it as a space sanctified by the power of Christ's blood. Thank you, Lord, for your constant watchfulness and unwavering love. May this home be a sanctuary where your presence reigns and your peace prevails. In the mighty name of Jesus, I approach your throne of grace with thanksgiving in my heart. Your word in Isaiah 53 verse 5 declares that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. I plead the powerful and healing blood of Jesus over our home, believing in your promise of divine health and restoration over our home. I thank you for we live in divine health. Dear Lord, as Exodus 15, 26 assures us that you are the God who heals, I seek your divine intervention against sickness and infirmity. May your healing power permeate every room, every corner and every inhabitant of this home, driving away all illness or disease. In Psalm 103 verses 2 and 3, you forgive all our iniquities and heal all our diseases. I claim this promise for my household, trusting in your mercy and healing grace to cover us against any form of sickness. Be it physical, emotional or spiritual, you are our refuge and our fortress. Psalm 91 says no plague shall come near our dwelling. I stand on your word, believing that the blood of Jesus serves as a shield, protecting my home from all harm and illness. I present every member of this household before you, asking for your healing touch and restoration. Sickness of any kind is not our portion. And in the precious name of Jesus, I come before you grateful for your provision and abundance. Your word in 1 Peter 1 verses 18 and 19 remind me that I was redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus, freed me and my household from the grip of lack and insufficiency. Dear Father, I plead the redeeming blood of Jesus over my home invoking the power that breaks every chain of lack and scarcity. Using your promise in Philippians 4.19 that assures me that you shall supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I claim this promise for my household, trusting in your unfailing provision. You are the God who multiplies and blesses abundantly, as seen in Psalm 115 verse 14. And I stand on your promise that you will increase us more and more. Both I and my children may abundance flow into every aspect of our lives within these worlds. I surrender our needs into your loving hands, confident in your faithfulness to provide abundantly. I reject the spirit of lack and declare your abundance over every area of our lives. Let your blessings overflow, covering us in every form, be it financial, emotional, spiritual or material. Thank you Lord for your boundless provision and grace. I receive by faith the promise of abundance over this home. And in the powerful name of Jesus, I come before you with reverence and gratitude. Your word in Exodus 12, 13 assure that when you see the blood, you pass over and no destructive plague will touch us. I plead the protective and redeeming blood of Jesus over my home, seeking shelter from any threat of untimely death. Death will see the blood of Jesus on my home and pass by every member of this household bears the mark of the Lord Jesus and therefore death can't trouble us. Heavenly Father, according to Psalm 91 verse 16, you promise long life and show salvation to those who dwell in your shelter. I declare your promise over this household, claiming the assurance of your protection against any form of premature death. As for me and my household, we will leave and we shall live to testify the Lord's goodness in our lives. My present household and the generations to come shall be satisfied with long life. 
Your word in John 10, 10 says that Jesus came to give us life in abundance and to protect us from the thief who comes only to steal, kill and destroy. I stand firm in the authority of Jesus' blood, rebuking any spirit of death or destruction from this dwelling. My household and every living being in it has life in abundance because Jesus has given it to us. The devil cannot steal what the Lord has given us for the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead abides in this home. I plead for the sanctifying power of Jesus' blood over every individual in this home, purifying us and shielding us from any danger of premature death. I reject and nullify every plan or scheme of the enemy aimed at causing harm or cutting short the lives of those within these walls. Let the protection and life-given power of Jesus' blood prevail in every aspect of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing protection and preservation. I receive by faith the assurance of safety and longevity over this home. In God possesses the exclusive power to unlock doors that remain shut by any other force. He alone creates pathways even in seemingly impossible situations, providing you with breakthroughs. Life often closes doors right before you, despite our persistent knocking. However, God consistently intervenes. Though those doors may have stayed shut for an extended period, God is now ushering in a breakthrough for you. So you can join in this prayer, embracing his promise that whoever knocks shall see those doors swung wide open. If you believe it, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I trust in your promises of breakthrough and open doors. Your word in Matthew 7, 7 assures us that whoever knocks the door will be opened. I stand in faith believing that as I knock on the door of opportunity, you will graciously open it for me because your word has already said it. Lord, life presents challenges and closed doors, but you are the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. I seek your divine intervention and breakthrough in my situation, knowing that you are the ultimate opener of doors that no one can shut. Your promise in Revelation 3, 8 speaks of an open door that no man can shut because of your unfailing support. Lord, I ask that you grant me the wisdom to recognize the doors you open for me and the courage to walk through them in faith. I surrender my plans and aspirations in your loving hands, trusting in your perfect timing and provision. Guide me, Lord, to the opportunities and pathway you have destined for me and let your favor go before me. I come before your throne of grace seeking breakthrough and open doors in my life. Your word in Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Gracious Father, I ask for your divine guidance and direction to pave a new path for me, a new path of breakthrough for me in my life. I also ask that you open my eyes that I may see the doors you're opening for me. I would not lose my opportunity due to the lack of discernment. I have been in the wilderness for a while now, but Father, Lord, by the revelation and the word of God, I thank you for I see the river springing forth. Your promise in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reassures me that you have plans for me. My welfare, not for evil, to give me a future and a hope. I pray for clarity and wisdom to recognize the opportunities you place before me opportunities of financial breakthrough, emotional breakthrough, marital breakthrough. In Philippians 4, 6, you urge us to not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to let our requests be made known to you. I bring before you my desire for breakthrough before you, knowing that you are the God of possibilities. Help me, O Lord, to trust in your timing and be patient as I wait for doors to open. Lord Jesus, I come before you in gratitude, acknowledging that it is you who gives me the ability to produce wealth, as written in Deuteronomy 8.18. 
But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. I thank you for the resources and opportunities you provided with me thus far. Lord, I seek your divine intervention in my financial situation. I pray for breakthrough and open doors in my finances. Guide me, Father, to make wise decisions that align with your will and purpose for my life as I navigate financial challenges and seek avenues to improve my financial well-being. I trust in your promise to provide for all my needs according to your riches and glory as mentioned in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Gracious Lord, I ask for your guidance and provision in this financial journey. Your word in Joshua 1 verse 8 reminds me to meditate on your law day and night, to observe to do according to all that is written. Faithful Lord, I commit my financial endeavors to align with your will and teachings. Give me the wisdom to handle my finances in a way that honors you. Help me to be diligent, disciplined and faithful in my stewardship. As you promise in this verse, the prosperity and success accompany those who meditate on your word. I ask that the Holy Spirit guides my financial decisions and actions, leading to breakthrough and open doors in my finances. Enable me to recognize opportunities for growth, income and provision that align with your purpose for my life. I ask for your divine favor and blessing upon my efforts, that they may bear fruit abundantly as you have promised to prosper the work of my hands in Psalm 90 verse 17 as I seek financial stability and growth let it not be solely for personal gain but also to honor you and be a channel of blessings to others in need faithful father I'm grateful for the talents and opportunities you have bestowed upon me your word reminds me in Proverbs 16 verse 3 that if I commit my work to you my plans will be established Lord, I commit my plans in life to you. Father, establish them in the name of Jesus and give them life. I pray for clarity and vision and wisdom from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 as I navigate my business and career. Guide my steps and grant me discernment to recognize the doors you open for me in life. In spiritual, financial and emotional life as mentioned in Revelation 3, 8 that no one can shut. I ask for breakthroughs in my endeavors as you promise to help me remain steadfast in faith and patience and waiting, knowing that in due time, as in Galatians 6 verse 9, I will reap a harvest if I do not give up. I ask you, Lord, that you give me the strength to stay in the process till the very end. I will not give up. As you have said, the expectations of the righteous will not be cut short. I will get to my expected end through who strengthens me. May my work bring glory to your name and be a blessing to others, aligning with the principles of integrity and diligence found in Proverbs 10 verse 4 and Colossians chapter 3 verses 23 to 24. Provide me with favor and connections that will further your purposes. Your word, dear Father, in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 reminds me that marriage is a sacred union and I seek your guidance and blessings upon our relationships. Grant I and my spouse, Lord, the wisdom and understanding from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 2 and 3, to cherish and support one another in love and unity. Help us to be quick to listening, slow to speaking, and slow to becoming angry. Fostering a spirit of patience and grace in our communication, Lord, I pray for breakthroughs in any areas of tension, of misunderstanding, as you promised in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, 6 and 7, that through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ. May this peace fill the heart of my spouse and my marriage, that the marriage would not fall. There will be a breakthrough. I pray that you open doors of peace, joy and love in my marriage. May your love which never fails as is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7 be the foundation of my marriage. Grant me strength in times of trials trusting in your promise from 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 that you will not let me be tempted beyond what we can bear. 
Father, open doors of reconciliation and forgiveness when needed, reminding us of your example of forgiveness in Colossians 3.13. Help us to extend grace and mercy towards each other as you have shown us. Give unto us, dear Father, insight and understanding from Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 to trust in you with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding acknowledging you in all my ways so that my parts in my relationships may be directed by you help me lord to always speak in love and to ensure that i am at peace with everyone i seek breakthroughs in communication empathy and mutual respect as advised in james chapter 1 verse 19 to be quick to listening slow to speak and slow to anger Help me to be a vessel of your love and compassion, showing patience, kindness and humility in my relationships. Guide me to build relationships that honor you, seeking harmony and peace. As written in Romans 12, 18, may your presence be the foundation of all my connections. Bring in healing, restoration and strength to the bonds I share with others. I lift up my family before you, knowing that you are the source of all healing and reconciliation. Your word teaches in Psalm 133, verse 1, the beauty and power of unity among brethren. And Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, you encourage us to be kind and compassionate, forgiving one another just as Christ forgave us. I pray for breakthrough in my family dynamics, seeking restoration, understanding and harmony. Grant us the wisdom to respond gently in times of conflict and to love at all times especially in moments of adversity. Help us, Lord, to communicate with grace and humility, following the guidance of Colossians 3, verses 13 and 14, to bear with one another and to clothe ourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Family holds immense value being our support in times of trouble. In times of weakness, your swords of resilience amidst pain, our solace in trouble and our happiness in moments of sadness. It constitutes of your most precious treasures on this earth, deserving of your fervent prayers. It would be a great sorrow to watch your beloved family members being taken by the adversity. So you can join in this prayer invoking the protective blood of Jesus over your family, safeguarding them in everything that matters to them. So let's pray. Heavenly Father and everlasting Lord, I am grateful for the love and protection you offer in the name of Jesus. I plead the redeeming and healing blood of Jesus over my family's health I am assured by your word that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. And therefore, Lord, as in Isaiah 53 verse 5, where it's proclaimed that through your wounds we are healed, I claim this promise for each member of my family. May the healing power of Jesus' blood flow through every vein, organ and cell, restoring and revitalizing our bodies. I reject every form of illness, disease or infirmity that seeks to undermine the health of my family. And by the authority in the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus, I command healing and restoration to manifest in every aspect of our physical, emotional and mental health. Your word in Psalm 103 verses 2 and 3 declare that your healing all our diseases and redeem our lives from destruction. I trust in your healing touch, knowing that you are the ultimate healer who brings wholeness and wellness to our bodies. May your divine protection shield us from all forms of sickness, infirmity and harm. Grant us the strength to walk in good health, enabling us to serve you and others with vigor and vitality. Heavenly Father, your word affirms the significance of the blood of Jesus which speaks of redemption, prosperity, and protection. I plead the powerful and enriching blood of Jesus over my family's wealth, 
May your divine coverings have guard every aspect of our financial endeavors, ensuring prosperity and abundance in accordance with your will. Dear Lord, as in Deuteronomy 8.18, you grant the ability to produce wealth and I pray for your guidance and favor in managing our resources. Let your wisdom and discernment guide our decisions leading to increased prosperity and financial stability. I declare your promise in Philippians 4.19 that you shall supply all our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I trust in your provision and ask for an overflow of blessings upon our finances, enabling us to be a blessing to others as well. I rebuke every form of financial strain, lack or setback by the authority found in the name of Jesus and by the blood. May your abundance flow into our lives allowing us to honor you with our finances and live a life of generosity and gratitude. Your word, merciful Father, reveals the potency and sanctifying power found in the blood of Jesus. I plead the redeeming and shielding blood of Jesus over every aspect of my family's life. May your precious blood cover each member, save God in them from all harm, evil and calamity. Let it form a protective shield around our lives, preserving us from sin and unseen diseases. As in Exodus 12 verse 13, where the blood was a sign of deliverance, I claim the same deliverance over my family's life. May your blood serve as a constant refuge, guarding us from all forms of danger, whether physical, emotional or spiritual. I declare your promise. In Psalm 19 verses 11 and 12, that your angels will guard and protect us in all our ways. I pray for angelic protection and guidance to accompany us through every step of our lives. Let the cleansing power of Jesus' blood purify our thoughts, actions and relationships, fostering unity, love and harmony within our family. May your peace reign in our hearts and your presence be evident in every aspect of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the immeasurable protection and grace found in the blood of Jesus. I receive by faith the covering and safeguarding of my family's life through the powerful blood of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, as Psalm 121 verse 8 assures us that you watch over our coming and going, I pray for your vigilant presence to accompany us. May the blood of Jesus be a shield protecting us from accident, harm, and any form of danger as we navigate through our daily lives. I claim your promise in Deuteronomy 28 verse 6 that blesses our coming in and our going out. Let every outing be filled with your favor and never return to our home be greeted with your peace and protection. May the blood of Jesus create a barrier against every negative influence, evil intention, or harm that seeks to confront us as we step out into the world, guard our hearts, minds and bodies and lead us safely back to the warmth and security of our home. Thank you Lord for your unseasoned protection and grace. I receive my faith, the covering and the safety of my families going out and coming in through the powerful blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus I come before you grateful for your abundant blessings and grace. Your word reminds me that in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I plead the joyous and liberating power of the blood of Jesus over my family. May the covering of his blood bring a profound sense of joy that surpasses all circumstances, filling our hearts and home with laughter, peace and contentment. Dear Lord, as you promised in Psalm 16 verse 11, show us the path of life where there is abundant joy in your presence. I pray that the joy of the Lord becomes our strength, lifting us above any gloom, despair or turmoil that seeks to overshadow us. By the authority in the blood of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of sadness, anxiety or hopelessness that attempts to rob us of joy. I declare your promise in John 16, 24, asking that our hearts be filled with joy that no one can take away. May the joy of salvation, redemption and victory secured by the blood of Jesus overflow within our family. Let it be a beacon of light that shines through any darkness, illuminating our lives with the hope, laughter and gratitude. 
Thank you, Lord, for the gift of joy that comes through the covering of Jesus' blood. I receive by faith the abundant joy and happiness you offer to my family. Your word assures me of the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that comes only through the precious blood of Jesus. I plead the calming, restoring, and unifying power of Jesus' blood over my family's peace. Let your peace reign in every heart, every conversation, and every circumstance we encounter. May the tranquility that emanates from your presence settle within our home, dispelling anxiety, fear, and discord. Just as you, dear Father, spoke peace to the storm in Mark 4 verse 39, I speak peace into the storms of our lives, calm every turbulence and mend every rift, and restore harmony within our family unit. May your peace become the anchor that steadies us through every trial and challenge. May your word, as it is said in John 14, 27, with the promise of peace unlike the world's, a gift from Jesus himself, I plead for thy divine peace to saturate our home, permeating every aspect of our lives, bringing serenity, comfort and assurance in every moment. In Jesus' name, I approach your throne of grace, grateful for your boundless love. Your word speaks of power of the blood of Jesus to heal, redeem and restore. I plead the potent and transforming blood of Jesus over the love within my family. Lord, your love is the cornerstone of our relationships. May the blood wash away any bitterness, resentment or discord that may hinder our love for one another. Let your love which is patient and kind abound in our interactions, binding us together in unity and understanding. As the word in 1 Corinthians 13 describes love's attributes, may your blood empower us to embody these qualities within our family. Let our love be genuine, selfless, forgiving and enduring, mirroring the sacrificial love demonstrated through Jesus' blood on the cross. I ask for your grace to permeate every aspect of our relationships, strengthening the bond between each family member. May your love be the guiding force in our interactions, decisions and responses towards one another. Precious Lord, may the blood of Jesus create an atmosphere of harmony and compassion and grace within our home. Let it be a place where forgiveness flows freely, understanding reigns and where love abounds unconditionally. Thank you, Lord, for the transformative power of the blood of Jesus. I trust in its ability to enhance and enrich the love within my family. And in the name of Jesus, I lift up our families, business and careers before you, acknowledging that every good thing comes from you. I plead the powerful and protective blood of Jesus over our endeavors, seeking your guidance, favor and provision. Lord, your word tells me of the cleansing and redeeming power in the blood of Jesus. I pray that your blood covers my business and career, shielding them from any harm, deception or schemes of the enemy. May your divine protection encompass every aspect of our work and professional lives. As I declare protection of our business and careers, let the blood of Jesus serve as a beacon of light, guiding our decisions, attracting opportunities, and guarding against any form of setback or failure. I declare your promise in Proverbs 16.3, committing our plans and work to you. Grant us wisdom, discernment, and creativity in our business dealings and careers. Let your divine favor rest upon us, opening doors of success and prosperity. May the blood of Jesus Purify our intentions, relationships and actions in the professional sphere, leading us to conduct our business and careers with integrity, honesty and compassion. In Jesus' mighty and protecting name, I pray. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.